Hello there and welcome back to another Suffolk Fisherman. I'm by myself today, by the river. This river, the River Old. Um, secret spot uh, on the River Old. Don't know why it's a secret spot. I've caught three white in so far. Uh, nothing special yet. I've always wanted to come and fish this place and I haven't had the chance but now I'm finally here um, and yeah it's it's uh, in the middle of nowhere really but there's a little there's a little nature reserve where I park my car and you walk along the river um, to get to this bit you, you walk along down there the Butley River runs along down there towards Butley um, but I've come up here and walked up here to the River Old so um, where the Butley River diverges off of there and, uh, and uh, so yeah the sea is that way the mouth of this river um, it's also over there because that's Orford Ness the Narrows where we did fish once many years ago but yeah, I've caught free whiting. I, I've been here quite a while. I don't know if, you know, I don't know where to cast. I've had a look on the sea map. I've got an app called Sea Map. And it sort of tells you the depths and that. And I've, I've found, uh, the first fish I caught was from casting into here. Because um, I was on this little shingle bit over there, but that's got submerged now, because it's high tide. So we're gonna see what happens. Unfortunately this is all I'm catching so far. It's a little whiting. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we get something else. I'm using ragworm but I'm going to chuck out a squid bait. Um, see if, I, if there's any rays about. But um, I was getting molested by crabs as well but uh, they seem to have died off a bit, but we'll see. A little whiting. Uh, yeah, just proof of I'm catching whiting. And this orange one, I did it. I was getting a bit of a bite there. There you go. Yeah, there. Look at that. Lo and behold, a cod laying. Look at it. It's a cod. It's a cod. Caught from the river. A cod caught from the river. one maybe they, it's because it's from the mud lands um, and yeah Look at that. what a place for a cod to be caught well here he is a bit grassy but uh, and it's pooing on me but that is the El Codo from the River Old in Suffolk. I got what I came for, a codling. Um, yeah, because I have heard that you get skate and cod come from these rivers, so I thought I you know, wanted to give it a go. And it's such a nice place to be. It's fantastic, it's so peaceful. I've seen, I've seen like two people this whole time I've been here. Um, and I've been here a good few hours. So yeah, um, I mean, I, you know, one codlin and then I've had about five whiting, I haven't really filmed filmed them. Um, hoping I'll get another one of those cods, or at least something, like, something a bit more interesting other than a white. Just had this little slippery thing, an Ian Beal. Coming right towards us. 
Ah. <laughs> Ian Beal. Yeah, luckily I managed to get him off the hook before he caused a right havoc. Uh, so, down he goes. Uh, not got long left of fishing because, uh, well, it's just getting a bit late. I need to get back home, but I'm going to give it a bit more. I've only got a few more rags left, so it might be a last chance saloon. We'll see. Well, it's another grass snake. Another Ian Beal, much bigger one this time. It's almost got tangled up. Still got the hook in its mouth, which I'll, I'll get out with forceps. But at least it's off the rig now. Um, but yeah, it's a big old eel. All right, chugging back the eel, got the hook out. Welcome back to the Suffolk Fisherman. You joined me out in the woods today. And um, I just thought I'd film a little piece. Um, not fishing, but I thought maybe some people might find this interesting. So, I've just found, other than those Amanita muscaria over there, those red and white mushrooms, I've found a Belitis edulis, um, which is a choice edible mushroom, and quite uncommon. Well, I say uncommon, it, they're a good find. But, um... Come down here. There's only one I can see so far, which isn't great, but I'll pick it for you. So, here it goes. It's always quite satisfying picking one of these. And there you go. So, this is Latin name is Belitus edulis. Um, also known as a porcini, sep, penny bun, plenty of names, um, and look at that, that's a lovely specimen, apart from chunks been taken out of it, but, get some of those fine details in there, the sort of webbing on the stem here, is known as reticulation which is a key identification feature when looking for one of these so yeah these are really good mushrooms you can dehydrate them put them in anything pastas and that um, fish dishes um, and yeah um, or eat them fresh when you know that eat them fresh um, but yeah they got really good flavor and they, these cannot be cultivated, which is why they're quite, you know, sought after. But yeah, so habitat. Let's talk about the habitat for a moment. Let me just put this down. So as you can see, um, I'm in the woods. That is an ideal place to look for these. But um, birch trees, um, birch, oak are the main trees, really, it grows with. And they it forms a symbiotic relationship with the tree. And, uh, yeah, you can find them on the edges of woodland because they do seem to like the grass. So an edge of the woodland, birch, oak, with some grass beneath it, you've got a good chance. And they're quite hard to find because um, of the brown uh, caps makes them look a lot like leaves. But if you're finding those Amanita muscarias over here, which I showed you earlier, if you're finding these about, um, you're looking in the right sort of place because um, often you'll find them growing near these because these grow with birch as well. 
predominantly. Sometimes with sort of coniferous trees like pine, etc. Have a look around the area because if you find one, you're more than likely going to find others. This spot, I've, I've, I came here. Oh, I've just found another one. But I've came here because I found them here plenty of times before. And uh, today is the 10th of October, so it's around this sort of time. Yeah, that's another good one. As you can see, the reticulation on the stem. Um, as they mature, these this poor, porous surface beneath the cap um, turns yellow. And they're not so good when that happens. You can still eat them, but when they're a bit younger and fresher, that's the best. Um, but yeah, um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, yeah, if you notice, normal mushrooms, well, most mushrooms that you would think of have gills beneath the cap on the lower fertile surface, but instead of gills, these have little pores like a sponge. And, um, yeah, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that's another key identification feature, but yeah, they're quite distinctive mushrooms. And there's not really many, there's not really any poisonous lookalikes. Um, but still be careful and do some research if you're going to look for these mushrooms. Of course. But yeah, found two, so. Uh, we'll look around because there's a couple of other spots where they grow often. So we'll have another look about. I'll let you know if we find any more. And that right, Bilba. Yeah.